Hello, this is Ming Han Zhu. In this video, I will introduce our paper, E2PN, Efficient SC3 Equivalent Point Network. This paper is co-authored by Monique Goffery, William A. Clark, and Hui Peng. As the title reveals, we developed an SE3 equivalent point cloud network. On a high level, it can be viewed as an equivalent version of the widely used point cloud network, KPCOM. Compared with existing equivalent point cloud networks, our model is lightweight and runs fast. It's easy to use and is compatible with any network with KPCOM style backbones. Our key innovations are the equation space convolution, the permutation layer, and the symmetric convolutional kernels. In the following, I will elaborate on more details. Learning on 3D data has been a challenging task due to the large space of variations in data. For example, even simple objects like chairs can have thousands of variations in shapes. Post changes also result in large variations in the observation, even with the same shape, making the, making the problem more challenging. In this regard, one typically uses data augmentation to force the network to recognize the same target in different poses. A more principled way would be to use equivalent models with built-in symmetry to the transformations so that the robustness to post variations is guaranteed and the model capacity is preserved for the two underlying shapes. Our method falls in the second category. Here, we we'll briefly review a typical type of equivalent models, group CNN. We we'll put it next to the conventional convolution layer. The major difference is that group convolutions lift the domain of feature maps and filtering kernels from Euclidean space to the group G, which represents the set of transformations to which we desire robustness. In this way, the model learns features from different poses simultaneously. In the simplified illustration, we use a gray circle to represent a point in Euclidean space and use the colored arrows to represent the rotations. The connections represent the convolution operations at one point. We can see that a major drawback of group CNN is that the computational load grows drastically with the lifted domain, limiting their use in practice. To improve the efficiency, we propose to only lift the domain to quotient space of the group, denoted by G mod H, where H is a subgroup. The quotient space can be roughly understood as a fraction of the group G, and therefore the computational complexity can be much reduced. Specifically, in our problem, G is the SE3 group, the set of all 3D rotations and translations. We select H to be SO2, the planar rotations, the resulting quotient space is a product of a 2D unit sphere S2 and 3D Euclidean space R3. To make it clear, here is an illustration of the SO3 group and the S2 space. An element of SO3 can be identified as a point on a unit sphere and a rotation around the axis going through that point. S2 is a unit sphere without a following rotation, thus it's a quotient space of SO3. To facilitate the implementation, the sphere is discretized as the vertices of a polyhedron, and accordingly, SO3 is discretized as all rotations that fix the set of vertices. We use prime to denote the discretization. You can see that S2 prime is a much smaller set than SO3 prime, thus saving computation. However, we can use the feature map to find on S2 prime to distinguish every rotation in SO3 prime, because each element in SO3 prime corresponds to a unique permutation of the set of vertices in S2 prime by rotating the polyhedron. Therefore, when we are conducting post-sensitive tasks, we can stack the S2 features under different permutations to obtain post-specific features. Another key strategy we use is symmetric kernel. To motivate this, we need to understand two things. First, a necessary step in KPCOM side convolution is to gather features from input points to predefine kernel points through distance-based weighted sum. 
after which the convolution is conducted on the kernel. Second, group CNN requires rotating the kernel to different orientations to obtain rotation equivalent features. Therefore, a naive KBConf style group CNN will need to repeat the feature gathering step for each rotation, resulting in additional computational cost. Now, if the spatial layout of the convolutional kernel is symmetric to the group of rotations, the kernel will land in the same set of points after the rotations. Thus, only one round of feature gathering is needed, resulting in further improved efficiency. In practice, we use the polyhedral vertices as the kernel points, which are symmetric to the polyhedral rotation group. We conduct experiments on two datasets, more than at 40, which is composed of synthetic object models, and 3D Match, a dataset of real-world indoor RGBD scans. Three tasks are involved, object classification, post estimation, and key point matching. In all three tasks, the memory consumption of our method is only a fraction of the existing group CNN baseline, and the frame rate is an order of magnitude higher for both training and inference. In the meantime, our method maintains the same level of performance in these tasks. In conclusion, we propose a new SE3 equivalent network for processing 3D point clouds. It drastically improves the efficiency over existing equivalent models. Furthermore, it has a simple structure which is directly applicable to any network with a KPCOM style backbone. Please check out our code through the link below. Thank you.